And welcome back quite immediately. I still don't know what to do. Some instruction would be very nice here. Some hintity hint hint at what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Um, that's kind of a hintity hint hint. But it's not good enough of one, seeing as I can't jump to save my life in this intense G chamber. Try this again. There we go. Is there any way I can like shift this closer or something? Hmm. You are being quite uncooperative. I just have to check the other room. Thud, 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 thud. I knew you were there. You can't hide from me. Attack me already so I can dodge you, and then instantly shoot you in the face. I want to lethal strike you, what is the deal here? Oh, you just died. Come on, man. No fun at all. Thud. Okay, I guess it's a better idea to just run, isn't it? Nobody likes you either, robots. Nobody likes uncooperative droids. Especially not me. Because as you can see, I destroy them. Which means you. And you guys too. I don't really know what you are. You haven't really done anything of value to your team. You just kind of float around and let me shoot you with one hit kill. Which you see is not have fun for anyone, so why don't you just stop it? I feel like I'm going to be attacked again. This is still buggering me. I can't light it up with my beam. And I can't s jump the uh, speed boost so I can shine spark in here. Which is frustrating. And I still don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Hey Gramps, you want to tell me what I'm supposed to do? And you want to not chuck me around, please? I'm not that kind of bounty hunter. I have boundaries. Bye, Gramps. Okay, you can just ignore me then. Backtracking, 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 backtracking. I know there are no other doors in here. No other options. Guess not. I'll just have to amble around fruit fruitlessly for the next 20 hours. And I'll just spin attack over you guys, or screw attack over you guys, because you're being of no help whatsoever. And you're just making everybody sad, including you, because you would have ended up dead. Thud. Hum diddy dum dum dum. Samus, activate your damn gravity suit already. I mean, seriously. Any objections, Adam? You already activated your screw attack. And your space jump, or whatever. Hi there. How are you? You knew the neighborhood. I'm gonna kill you. Running, running, running. That speed booster would be really helpful right about now. I mean, Samus must be really tired from all this running and backtracking that I'm making her do. Screw attack! That is how you will pay for your sins. The almighty attack of screw. You have both felt its wrath. That can blow up. Hi there. Don't mind it can't. It looked like it could. Can it? Maybe. Look at that, it can't. Sure you can't? You look crackety. You look cracked over there. Nope. Carry on then. Red buttons do anything? Nope. Ceiling? Nope. Just keep on my intensely heavy running. 
Because of this damn intense gravity, I can't get anything done. You can die. And die again. I'll just shoot you while you're frozen. Hope you didn't break your hip again, because I'm not driving you to the hospital after that last time. It was just the worst car ride of my life. I mean, seriously. Well, what's that on the floor? Absolutely nothing. I'm just deluding myself into thinking there's something else I should be doing other than the obvious. Oh, hi again. I thought I broke your hip. Well, that fixed it by disintegrating it. It's not there. It can't be a problem anymore, can it? And you are being no help whatsoever. Can I, like, shift this thing or something? Is there any thing I can do here? I mean, seriously? Hmm. Grab onto this ledge here. Oh! I can rapid spin attack. Ha! Ah. Well, look at that. It was that easy. That was easy. Who thought you could do that? All it took was for me to spam the spin attack, or screw attack. Spin attack is different, that's Zelda, this is Metroid. But they're really not all that different. Yes, they are, they are very quite different. Through this door. Anything in here I should be aware of? Any items that I can't get because it's intense gravity, but I should take note of to get later? Whee! Whee! No more damn gravity effects. Gabaloosh! Stop! Save! Somehow that did not destroy the save machine. That thing's made of tough stuff. For the best save qual best quality save machines, come to Ted's Save Machine Emporium, where you'll find all your save machine needs. It's the power station. Quick, destroy the Death Star! Oh look, a door. That's abnormal. This is the most abnormal thing of all, though. I'm expecting to get attacked as soon as I take a step forward. Nope. I didn't really take a step forward. I'm just kind of doing some fossy shuffles here. Do 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 because you can't really be anticlimactically suspenseful because suspense is pretty climactic. Or working up to climax. I don't know. Whatever. You can correct my English terms later. Hello, floating disc. Get back to Tron. Where you belong. Any purpose in shine sparking? Nope, because there's a roof right above our heads. Should be grateful for that. Not everybody has a roof above their heads or things to eat. We don't either. We just feed off energy from things, I assume. I don't know. I don't know Samus or any video game's character for that fact. Ability to just live for days and weeks and months without any sustenance whatsoever. You look like you should be shot, or will shoot me later, or will become an enemy. Is this Mother Brain? Or MB, Mother Brain Simulator? Probably. Watch it grow into a Mother Brain. Well, have fun there, MB. Oh, finally! Guess it's not MB. This is too. Oh, gravity effects. Dick. You look. You look like a Twilight Bird. In my mind, maybe Metroid and Zelda aren't so different after all. Your face is silly. It makes me think of something I can't remember. It's like, uh... What is that like? It, it really... It strongly reminds me of something, but I can't think what. It's gonna bug me now. You're incredibly easy to kill, you know that? Oh, that was not nice. Naughty, not nice of you. 
Yes, I did just fire a super missile at your face. I hope you enjoyed that little glimpse into the world of super missileiness in your faceness. Would you like to die, please? Roar! Ha, your face is dented. Now you're sad and pissed. Oh, hi there. You wanna please GTFO? Aw, oh, son of a bitch. That guy really needs to learn boundaries. Anybody ever teach you any matters, mister? Okay, you know what? You need to calm the heck down. Stop throwing balls at me! Balls to you! Yes, I did just make that reference. How do I dodge that? Rawr! Rawr! Yes, sink down to my level so that I can kill you with proficiency after freezing your buttocks. Nose! That was not fun. All this naughty not niceness. Wow. Is there seriously no way to dodge that? Rawr! Enjoy your face being demolished. And your Gravitron. No Goku training in 100% gravity today. I know that helps your muscles, Goku, but there's no, that, that thing, no planet to save right now, okay? Frieza can live to die another day. And you can practice your Kamehameha's and fight Mr. Popo and kill Frieza and something else while you're waiting. Are you dead yet? No, your face is just glowy. Never mind, you're dead. Oh, that is raunchy gross. That's what it reminds me of. Nightmare. Didn't we kill you in Super Metroid? Or Metroid? Two or yeah, I can't remember. But you're ugly. You're ugly. Your faces look silly. You can die now. You die. Piss off. I'm gonna pee on your remains. Just kidding. I can't pee. I'm in a spacesuit. Well, I can pee, but it just kind of gets filtered out into space. You know what? I'll pee right now, and then you can get my filtered pee air. Have fun with that. Thank you very much. I'll be here all week or all morning. Um, can I go this way? Of course I can. I've got the screw attack. But yes, your face is ugly. You really need to get some like skin cream, because that greenness can't be healthy. And like some aloe vera maybe. And a facelift. And some pretty intense other plastic surgery there. Cutscene. The Death Star is quite operational. <laughs> no, Alderaan! Okay, that was very odd. But oh, I think you'll find the Death Star will be quite operational when your friends arrive. I don't have any friends, I'm a bounty hunter. Well, they're gonna die anyway. Then you will die. Watch me get zapped by lightning hands now. That would just be too much Star Wars in one go. So this is like the Mark III Death Star that like 
Death Vader, Darth, or not Darth Vader's, who was that guy's name? Like Darth Tyrannus or something? I don't know, the Emperor. The Emperor's ghost made it. And he decided to make it a bottle this time because he was so tired of eating gobstoppers that he just decided to drink his problems away and make his ne next ship a bottle. And that, my friends, is the history of the Death Star Mark III. And this is a very long hallway that is impeding us from using our speed booster, which is annoying. What's that? Nothing. Thought I saw something of interest. I didn't. Just tripping out. Cutscene? Okay, another power station. We've been there before. We're not there, but we've seen one before. Oh. I'm walking at a dynamic angle now. Can't you see how dynamic this is? Can I walk sideways? No, I can only walk in a straight line to my death. To my doom. The gallows. I'm gonna get attacked by that floaty thing again. Except he's gonna be more epic this time. It's gonna result in a boss battle that I can't beat in my time limit. Probably. Just attack me already, God damn it! Oh hi Metroid. be so friendly. Get a wash your ass, Samus. Is helping us now? What's with those pliable metal boots? They they move like rubber. That's not that's not physically possible. Autobots transform. Never mind. They're just firing their laser. Samus. Can you hear my voice? I read you. Loud and clear. You know what lies up ahead. The Metroids and the artificial intelligence that controls them. The fruit of the Galactic Federation's twisted project. Yes. So why did you shoot me? You can't destroy these Metroids. What do you mean? Sector Zero Metroids most likely can't be frozen. What are you talking about? There's a strong likelihood that the Metroid's mortal weakness to the vulnerability to cold has been overcome through genetic manipulation. And if that's true, there's no way you can destroy them. Well, you just destroyed that one. That baby earlier. The infant Metroid. You were able to freeze it. True. My guess is that it was because it was still in a larval stage. But who can say? One thing's for certain. They're definitely propagating Metroids. Don't trust Adam. 
developing bioweapons with an obvious and fatal flaw would be suicide. It's hard to imagine the military mass producing defective weapons. Then again, none of this makes sense. Metroids are lethal. Their extinction was a wise decision. And now, since no one has the technology to defeat them, they cannot be allowed to exist. Hang on, Adam. First, I need to know why you're credited as the creator of the Metroid Military Program Report. I received the request to write the report from Galactic Federation Headquarters. In that report, I outlined the potential dangers of such a program and explained categorically why it shouldn't be attempted. HQ listened, but a small group within the Federation co-opted my report for its own purposes. Samus, you'll be fully recovered soon. I have several missions for you. This facility appears to be on an intercept course with Galactic Federation HQ. If what Madeline Bergman said is correct, there's a distinct possibility that this is the start of an attack by MB against the Federation. One way or another, some sort of attack is clearly imminent. You have to find a way to divert the ship off its intercept course. I've located a survivor in room MW, toward the rear of the bioweapon research center. Whoever it is will be a key witness. Secure the survivor's safety and defeat Ridley. He's as much of a threat as the Metroids. And one last word of warning. Madeline Bergman is no ally. This guy don't sit right with me. He's being suspicious. Hold on, Adam. What are you planning to do with the Metroids here in Sector Zero? Leave it to me. I'll deal with this place. You have a plan for dealing with Metroids that can't be frozen? Sector Zero has a self-destruct protocol. The sector receives a significant amount of damage. The unit is programmed to detach and self-destruct. A powerful explosion will eliminate the Metroids and MB without leaving a trace. Don't you dare, Adam. Let me go in. I'm the only one who has a shot against the Metroids. We have to take the chance. Please, Adam. You have to trust me. You have to trust me. Just give me a chance. Samus, I wish I could battle Ridley, but I can't. Unlike you, I'm no galactic savior. I'm merely human. But I can save you. You should be completely healed soon. There isn't much time. We both need to get started on our missions. I'm sorry for getting a little rough with you. Good luck, Samus.
Adam vanished. My best friend. The person who understood me best. The closest thing to a father I had. Thoughts swirled through my head. I couldn't come to grips with what had happened. Such a cruel way to say goodbye. I was the only one who witnessed Adam's last moment. And though it shook me, I was calmer than I usually am. I think Adam granted me that eye of the storm clarity, his final gift to me. There was no time for me to grieve his death, but there was time for me to say, Adam, thank you. You leave the rest to me. Well, look at that. Now you have an extra long episode thanks to that very upsetting and depressing cutscene. But now I must quickly get to a save point. Because this is becoming a very extra long video. And I can't let that happen. No, just kidding, but still. I need to move on with things. Die, Space Pirates! There we go. Ah, oh, dang it. More time wasters. I have other affairs to deal with today. Out of my way. Please die. That's right, screw attack. I should be using that instead. Great, we get sucked into the vacuum of space. Was I supposed to do something there? Nope. Yes. You guys just please get sucked into space. I'm serious, just die already. There we go. And don't shoot me in the back, that's just unsportsmanlike. And rude above all things. All right, this is a very long hallway. Yay, we made it. I'd like to immediately have a save point, please. Where is it? Next room. I'm going to be insulted by 50 enemies here, I bet. Nope, we made it! Alright, everybody, this has been Let's Play Metroid Other M. I hope you enjoyed this super long episode. Well, six minutes longer than usual, or seven. I don't know. Nine. Well, thanks. Goodbye.